to an Ambra State. Welcome. Well, anyway, now I will say, welcome home. Because he is an in law as well. You know, people forget that. So, welcome home. And um, I don't want to go into the history about us in government and then in politics. But I know that sometime in 2010, uh, even to early 2011, we all went around this country uh, together. Um, oh, and such for a better Nigeria. Nigeria is one great country that, as far as I'm concerned, destined by God to be the largest, most prosperous, and uh, most powerful black nation. It's a God-given mission to make it great, to make it realize its fullest potentials. Party differences, whether you are in PDP or in, uh, and by the way, of course, uh, I hear the jokes, I hear the, um, um, from the national uh, chairman of um, uh, BDP. Um, uh, BDP used to be the only, literally the only one, but it has become quite a number of um, number of uh, branches, <laughs> and some are now competing to take, uh, like Apuga now being the third largest political party <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, Sometimes I think the prayer of the parents is that their children will become bigger and better than them. <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll talk about that. Welcome to Anambra. And as I say, the entourage that has come, um, the, our number, the Amazons, uh, our number with you, uh, distinguished senator, the young, the young man, the young, uh, and high chief um, uh, senator, uh, Obi, and then, and of course, um, Okosisi. Uh, when uh, if you go to AIT. You hear him. If you don't know the name, then you don't, you don't know to AIT. Uh -huh, and he called Bosi too. Ah, I didn't know. When did you sneak in? <laughs> you sneak in. And they are my brothers from neighboring states. And of course, uh, vice, the, the vice presidential candidate of uh, PDP, who is my neighbor on the other, um, the, across the, um, the river, and uh, struggling to build. Anambra, Onesha, and uh, Asaba to be like the twin now with the second Niger Bridge to become like the twin cities of New York and New Jersey, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, so on. And I'm glad you came with the uh, new the uh, governorship uh, candidate. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Um, I welcome all of you, I mean, senators, uh, former governors, and so on. Uh, uh, Word. Hey. <laughs> and uh, Senator Liel, and you guys are aging backwards. <laughs> Let me welcome all of you. It's really a great pleasure, uh, exciting to uh, receive you. Like I said, this country is bigger than any individual. It's bigger than any political party. There is one mission, and that is for us to realize our God-given potentials. And um, and. I mean, I said the business of making Nigeria, building this new Nigeria, is far beyond anybody, even far beyond the politicians. It's too serious a business to be left to politicians alone. And so, and for me, in this business, Anambra State, Iboland, and the entire Nigeria should be open space for everybody to be. To be open space for everybody. Position. How are you going to fix Nigeria? How are you going to fix Southeast? Now, Nambra has got its own unique uh, challenges. We are the erosion capital of the world, for example. You know, what is the need for us? You know, now that I'm wearing, you know, in my uh, other life, I always I take it in that layer. Um, in the other life, as uh, governor of Central Bank, uh, chief economic advisor, head of national planning, the only thing I was looking at was just the national aggregate uh, numbers and how the macro and the banking and so on, how they were doing nationally. Now, as governor of a state, um, our chairman is here. 
uh, at Governor's Forum. Uh, so when we now meet there, everybody is saying, give me my own, give me my own, give me my own, give me my own. <laughs> so so uh, now as governor of the state, when you now call me, ah, I say, ah, which one are you bringing to me, uh, uh, so to speak. And I want to believe that in the fullness of time. I'm very glad that you are here to canvass for folks. Speak to the people, present your value proposition to them. And I want to believe that our people will listen carefully. Part of what we are uh, asked for is to have a level playing field for everybody to be able to come back. And that is my, uh, my, my, my own uh, orientation. When, uh, for example, one of our brothers wanted to declare that he was running then under PDP, he asked me, he wanted to use the government house premises to make his declaration, even though from uh, different political parties, why not? Go ahead and talk to the people. For me, that is the spirit. And that should be the spirit. You can't say this area, no. That's why you don't. No. This business is too serious. So I want to welcome you. I want to also say that, um, and I want to believe that in the course of time, some months to come, or some weeks to come, we will have an opportunity, another opportunity to have, uh, this one is what is said in the general, we'll say it in the village meeting, that, that what is to be discussed in the executive should not be discussed during general. <laughs> I know they are, uh, they are laughing, those of you from Pan, you say, when you have that uh, executive session, what is discussed in the plenary is not to be discussed in the... Uh, so, I, I want to believe that uh, in the next couple of days and weeks, we will have that opportunity to have an executive session. We'll have an executive session, you know, uh, have the executive session. And uh, we would uh, be more than glad to have that executive session with you. And uh, where we discuss some, uh, if you like, nitty gritty. Where we are now, this one is for general. This is general. Eh? This is plenary. Uh, we'll go into executive session. Yeah. Because for us, as people from this part of the world, Southeast, as you know, as your party knows, we have been this agitation. The people wanting this. Our people also felt who got to. Uh, be president, I'm sure that's why uh, the mass is contested and so on and so forth. But beyond that, you don't necessarily, even if you are not uh, uh, number one, we want to be in the sitting room, in the, in the bedroom, and so on and so forth. We want to be in the bedroom where this conversation is had because ultimately politics is about what? Development. And we want this place to feel part of that development, that since the Civil War ended, there was one promise that was made, um, one hour that we are yet to come to, and which is reconstruction. That's the only hour, reconciliation and the other hours of it, but the, the Marshall Plan has to come. I'm glad the Second Niger Bridge is coming, but look at the old the Federal Highway constructed during the Shagari era. No motor boats. That was the last they were built. Enugu Anisha, Enugu Port Harcourt. These are the two highways. This year I've been here for a few months, but I'm spending a few billions on federal roads just to fix basics. The flooding comes, sweeps up more than almost two thirds of the state. The environment is an existential threat the erosion capital of the world, and so on and so forth. There are concrete things because bottom line is that we want to change the life of the average citizen. Isn't it? it is. That's the summary. Whether you are wearing a face cap or like I see this uniform that you came with, um, it will pass, uh, I'm wondering whether high chief for viewers doing um, Ofala. And then everybody else is showing him and then with this uh, regalia <laughs> as it were. So I don't want to uh, bore you, but the key thing is to welcome you to Anambra. 
and to say to you that our people are all years.